only actually been a day since I last saw you, but it feels like it's been forever. It also feels like I've been vlogging for this vlog in particular forever. I actually started last Saturday and I've just been in a little bit of a funk with vlogging at home, so it's been interesting. But I got back from Versailles, which I think you will have seen already on Wednesday. I had a full editing day yesterday because I had to get the wedding guest address edit live. If you haven't seen that, I will link it at the top of the screen. And now I'm starting the vlog a little bit later this morning because we just had a full like blitz of the house because it was chaos. It always is whenever one of us goes away, everything just ends up everywhere. But I have a friend coming over, um, just popping over for a catch up this afternoon because I haven't seen her in so long. Also, I picked a spot and now please excuse the state of my face because it's not, it's not cute. I had a blackhead that was like trapped and it was, not good. Anyway, as I was saying, I have a friend popping over today. So I wanted to get the house looking all nice. And I also really would love to bake some cookies. I am really, Josie posted some cookies, I think on her stories last night. And now I am super in the mood for baking some cookies and um, it's definitely inspired me. So I'm gonna have a go at some white chocolate and rhubarb cookies because I have some rhubarb growing in the garden and apparently it's better, I did not know this, it's better eaten whilst it's shorter, which I never do. So I might give that a go. But like I said, I've actually been vlogging for a while. Uh, I started last weekend and to be honest, it was very chaotic. I got stuck, I basically I went to see my nan in her home on, in, her, in like the home the home uh because she has dementia if you didn't know already if you haven't seen me talk about that before uh, i try not to because it makes me cry um but i went to see her in the home um which is always slightly shocking because i don't go weekly like my mum does some people are like yes go go as often as possible and then there's some people that are like remember her how she was like my dad is like don't go remember her how she was it's so weird having like conflicting parental opinions on the situation but yeah it's always a bit of a shock going to see her because it changes like she changes a little bit more each time uh, I see her like some of the states I get myself into over the situation sometimes she would actually be like why are you being like this don't be silly she even requested uh from a very young age that she go into her home and she used to work in them so they often find her like loitering in the manager's office it's so funny how there's like um, even though she doesn't, like, she couldn't tell you what day it is, she couldn't tell you who my mum is. Like, there's, like, a muscle memory. It's so interesting, and that was very true for when we were in the home. I was wearing the low-rise jeans that I'm wearing today, and she blew a raspberry on my stomach, and my mum was like, ah, she used to do that when you were a kid, and I was like, is no one else, like, is that not freaking anyone else out? Like, she doesn't do that to everyone. So there's, like, a weird muscle memory for things, and it's kind of like, maybe she does no deep deep down somewhere that i am who i am i don't know so it's actually quite a nice visit and not too emotional i only almost cried about three times um but so hilarious because she is like really naughty and she throws um like people's shoes out the window at the home and i just i love that i mean i'm sure the people the families of the people whose shoes are going out the window don't but but anyway, my point being, uh, I went to see her and that was the day before Mother's Day in the UK. And it should have taken me 20 minutes to get home. And there is just a lot, like the, this country is not functioning very well. And uh, there were rail strikes and road closures, like big road closures. And it meant that it took me two and a half hours to do a drive that should have taken just over 20 minutes. I love, being in my car, I love my car. I like, I, I find driving very fun, um, especially when, especially when it's like my usual routes. Like I just kind of have a bop and a chill, and um, even traffic doesn't really annoy me that much because I'm just normally performing in my car. But <sighs> there's only so much carpool karaoke that I, even I, can partake in. And once I have finished my snacks, uh, things did start to get a little bit ropey and uh, I started losing the will quite frankly. That coupled with needing to have so much editing done ready to go to Versailles and the fact that I have Mother's Day the next day, I was very 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 stressed. So definitely not my best vlogging work but I did also 
<laughs> think it was a good idea to attempt to cut my own hair, uh, which is something that we are going to go and rectify tomorrow in this vlog. I decided to give it a go because I knew I had a hair appointment coming up. I mean, it didn't go badly, but it's nothing to really write home about. It doesn't look that different. And I actually would like it to be different, but I should not be doing anything that drastic myself at home. So we're gonna have a full spring hair refresh tomorrow. And I'm excited to see what we end up with. But um, yeah, it's very much in need of a hair wash right now, but I'm trying to hang on until tomorrow because um, it's just not good to wash your hair too often. So it's gonna be scraped back today. I am absolutely loving this Clode of Ho lip liner. It's so nice. It's basically almost like a lipsticky lip liner, like very creamy and very hydrating. So it's really, really nice for all over the lips. Um, I have a few lip products that I'm loving at the moment, in addition to the Merit Signature Lip in Baby, which is another thing that's gone walkies from my makeup bag. I must have dropped a load of stuff at some point. That's quite concerning. Other things I am loving, in addition to the Merit Signature Lip in Baby, number one, this Givenchy lipstick. Look at the packaging. It's like suede pink. How I have not ruined this yet is shocking to me. This is stunning. This is the La Rouge Sheer Velvet in the shade 10 Beige Nude. It's unreal. It's basically the lipstick version of the Huda Beauty lip liner, but ever so slightly lighter. And it's so comfortable to wear, wears for such a long time. It's like a really nice creamy matte feel. Really, really beautiful. And then also this lip balm, which I was using when I was on the Clay de Poe trip. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous loving those bits at the moment. I'm going to do the same hair that I did for my wedding guest dress edit. It's one of my favourite ways to look like really pulled together really fast. It's not giving that right now but trust the process guys. And we are done. Very sleek. Honestly I cannot wait to get it cut tomorrow and just have like a fresh vibe. I am so close to chopping a bob like I, I can't lie. <laughs> the temptation to chop a bob right now and go for real like my natural wave french girl hair is like i am so close at this stage i'm not sure what i'm gonna come out of the hairdressers with tomorrow but we'll see anyway let's make some cookies honestly look at this garden she is in need of some tlc like real tlc but look look at what we have here tulips are starting to sprout i honestly can't wait to rip all of this out and start with fresh veggies oh this is the byproduct of when we thought we were gonna sell the house and that's why all of these plants are in here because i didn't want to sell it as a veg bed because i thought it might put people off um but we obviously did not move but now i'm just being blessed with tulips which i cannot complain about just propping you up on some pasta a jar of pasta I have an earring delivery. I ordered these so long ago. I think they might have been handmade, but I have been so excited for these to arrive. I really hope they're good. I got them off Etsy. They're by a brand called Golden Horseshoe, and they're basically like little teardrop earrings. Oh my God, how fun. Oh. I don't know maybe i did order a little heart-shaped pair but i don't remember ordering a heart-shaped they're so cute wow oh my god these are so good look so these are some really good bottega dupes and i got them in silver and gold which had a silver on with today's outfit because it's kind of like cash my camera's about to die please don't die before i show them oh my god they're not like the dupes of the big big size i kind of felt like that wasn't right for my style and my head is quite small so i thought the big ones would be ridiculous but these are so cool oh my god so cute so i've got the gold and then i have this sweet little heart shaped pair as well it was so nice of them bless them oh my god I think they're so nice, especially with my hair just like slicked 
back like this it's like a statement but it's not like too crazy so this is my outfit of the day just in case anyone cares to see it i always go so cash after i come back off of a press trip because i just don't really want to think about what i'm wearing so i've got some low rise zara jeans on top is from Topshop on asos that is my very very chill outfit of the day today and i'm just very much enjoying the fact that it is warm enough to be in a t-shirt spring is coming spring is on its way okay here goes quite literally nothing to be honest i don't know what i'm doing this is when someone messages me and tells me i'm picking all the worst bits i love this stuff look just looks so cool in your garden in the summer when it's like super overgrown that should be enough right for cookies in the oven to just kind of soften whilst it preheats there's a few recipes that are kind of like different out there some of them say to just like throw the rhubarb in raw and some of them say to let it soften i don't know what to do so i'm just gonna like let it soften in the oven but i will put um the recipe for this either the link or just like the vague instructions in the info box for you guys but basically it's sugar and butter whipped together nice and easy my butter is already out of the fridge um to soften so hopefully that should be really easy and then you pop in some vanilla what is this called vanilla extract you pop in some of that and then you add your flour and mix that all in then you add your extras like your chocolate and rhubarb and then what i'm going to do which it doesn't say to do but i'm going to roll them into balls and then i'm going to put them in the fridge or the freezer for a little bit to set because what i love with cookies is rolling them into a ball and keeping them in that shape and then putting them in the oven so that they like drop into this like very rounded kind of cookie you get a nice chewy cookie doughy kind of texture in the middle that's my preferred vibe with cookies always 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 friends cookies are my favorite cookies let's just say that so i'm very excited because i actually have scales courtesy of ryan so get me i mean not that i know how to use them okay on zero that's probably a good start so we need 115 grams of vegan butter 115 Woo. okay 200 grams of light brown sugar so we zero this again uh, a teaspoon of water i need to whisk this together now <laughs> whisking which is actually a fork this is when victoria and josie call me upon seeing this and they're like you need a thermo mixer but see the thing is i hate crowded counter space like right now it's already hurting me and it's barely it's barely really crowded by some people's standards yeah i until we get a utility area built in when we do the renovation it's not happening i have also promised ryan an air fryer when we get the utility space so yeah it's gonna be interesting okay flower time 200 grams So this is where we're at. I've got a bowl full of white chocolate, a bowl that's half full of rhubarb. I might just add a little bit more flour, but once I've done that, I'm going to bung these ingredients in there and then get them in the oven. these cookies to be ready they look please excuse my my hoovers having a cameo 
I can't wait for these to be ready. They look so, so good. I thought I'd just take a moment for this because there, I was just looking through my YouTube comments, which I try not to do a lot at the moment because there is like a recurring theme of some constructive criticism, but a lot of the time just bordering on being actually very, very unhelpful um, regarding my style and how I like to dress. Um, the common themes being like, and I find this really difficult to take constructively because it's literally personal preference, but a lot of the themes being like, this is really unflattering, like everything is really oversized. That's what I like and I know that it's like lots of people like when I wear like tighter things and stuff like that but I don't necessarily want to dress like that all the time and part of the reason I am finding this comment difficult in particular is because I agree like sometimes I don't feel like my outfits at the moment work but I am kind of going through a moment where I'm trying to figure out like where my style sits because I am really struggling um, in terms of like lots of people my age dress a lot more grown up but it's not necessarily one um it's a bit bright in here is that mm, fuck it um it's not necessarily how I like to dress for my lifestyle like I would be like if I dress like some of the girls that I know that live in London I'd be like where on earth am I going in this this is too too dressy for day to day for me and sometimes a bit too mature like it's yeah I really struggle with it and sometimes a bit too preppy and I don't love it but then I'm aware that like low rise jeans and t-shirts aren't necessarily everyone's favourite but that's what I am kind of comfortable in or I like an oversized shirt or like a huge oversized bomber and then jeans that aren't tight because I don't really want to wear like a skinny jean anymore but some days I don't want to wear a baggy jean so a slim jean that is just a bit meh you know that is my that is the go-to um I mean, hang on i'm just gonna take the cookies out we don't want these things to burn wow oh my goodness i'm not sure if these are like completely done but i'm just gonna take them out whilst i chat oh no oh i think these could be good you know that one's definitely done i'm gonna take this off you can go there um i feel like they could do with a couple more mins but i'm like mid thought so i'm just gonna leave those out for a second and then i might put them back in yeah and then i struggle with like the current trends and i'm kind of trying to make the most of what i like out of the 90s fashion because i've always loved 90s fashion since it started coming in kind of early 2018 i've always really liked it and i know it some people find it quite triggering if they actually were like a teenager or adult in the 90s which i obviously wasn't i don't actually remember very much of it and then the same with like more noughties y2k trends like I, i'm sure we can't all wait for like 2010 to come back around because everyone will be like super nostalgic for like peter pan collars and like when youtube was big or something like that i felt like it was a a better time for fashion like people generally didn't don't find it as traumatizing as like the y2k bellies out everything out era i can i completely understand that i am struggling a lot with like figuring out where my personal style sits especially at this point in the year i struggle so much winter through spring i i really struggle because a lot of the outfits in my um spring styling video were like just slight tweaks on what i wore last year and no one hated them and suddenly everyone like i had my cowboy boots were being fully hated on and i had those since october and everyone loved them in october so i don't really understand these weren't being completely dumped on in the autumn why i don't really understand and i mean that's just a small part of it i literally just read a comment about the wedding guest dress edit and apparently everything is terrible on me and all my style choices lately have been awful and basically the comment was saying that everything needs tailoring and that's like a bad thing and i will always struggle with that because my body isn't a generic size or shape everything does need tailoring on me but that's normal that doesn't make my choices bad that's just the world we live in where not everyone fits into an item of clothing perfectly everything does need altering on me but that doesn't make my choices bad i loved how i looked in so many of those dresses and so this is my this is my boiling point where i was like the spring styling like <laughs> 
I'm struggling and it was, I did say like this is a work in progress, I'm not even sure on half of this, I'm just doing a Zara try on and kind of working on what my capsule wardrobe is, like my pieces that I draw from for spring and how I style them and I don't necessarily think I've got this right. You know, the feedback on that is what it is, but now <laughs> it's just feeding into like everything I wear is bad. One thing that I am great at, and I am not even, this isn't up for discussion, if you wanna put something in the comments, don't bother, I will ban it. Um, I am great at dressing up glam. I am great at glam. For everything in that video to be bad, I just am like, that's not actually constructive if everything I wore in this is bad because there was such a range. So just a little PSA that it's actually not constructive if there isn't a solution. I don't even know if this chat was worth having and I don't know if it will make it into the video, but sometimes if we could just remember that there's a human being on the other end of the comments, that would be great because sometimes it just kind of feels like we're critiquing an EastEnders storyline and all the styling in EastEnders but actually like sometimes I'm wearing something that I really like and feel good in and at the moment I just don't actually want to get dressed and I have I just am not feeling particularly confident and I'm just trying to work it out so I think I'm just gonna maybe lay off styling content for the foreseeable it's hard at the moment I don't feel like fashion in general is at a great place but I don't particularly think I look great in just like your very plain capsule wardrobe girly instagram kind of vibe where you wear like t-shirt and jeans and a ooh, uh where you wear like t-shirt jeans and a blazer i don't necessarily think that that suits me so i'm just kind of trying to like find a nice happy middle ground here it's um it's a it's an interesting time and i thought i would just mention that because some people really need to like take a step back right now because there's a human being on the end of the comments and they're like verging on just not being very nice. But anyway, I make cookies. <laughs> I am probably just gonna pop them in the oven just for literally a couple more seconds because I want them to be like nice and, oh, actually, these could be, oh, no, maybe not, I'm not. I'm gonna leave them like this because I hope they'll be like chewy in the middle. So my cookies are out in the oven and I have two batches here because when I was making the cookies, I actually added, it was really, really dry. So I added a splash of milk and that made it like perfect consistency. And then I made the mistake of adding a bit too much extra butter, which I'd already started warming in the oven, didn't wanna waste it. So I was like, I'll bung it in. It made it way too wet and liquidy. So I added more flour and then thought I'd freeze them and see how it went. But then I had a little bit of cookie dough still left and I thought, oh, I'll just add like the remaining amount of flour that I have into the bowl with this last bit of mixture. So these are definitely gonna be more moist. They have been frozen so that they would hold the shape and not completely slop everywhere, even though this one especially still has. But these have way more flour and so held their shape better. However, what I will say is these run the risk of being a lot more dry on the inside whereas these will be moist dense cookie dough-esque consistency on the inside that we all know and love from like ben's cookies these i think are going to be a lot more biscuity on the inside the point being don't deviate from the recipe too much i would recommend just adding a splash of milk but definitely no extra butter and other than that splash of milk stick to the recipe and they should be absolutely perfect so lauren's here and it's her day off, so she's just here for vibes. She's not mm. here to be on camera. Mm. But what do you think? It's delicious. It's delicious, yes. I love the rhubarb. Big fan of rhubarb, actually. Yeah, I actually am not normally, but I'm very happy with this. And I gave Lauren one of the more moist ones because I made some that were more flat. Sorry, I know you hate the word moist. I said it on camera earlier. And so. I'm still eating as well. <laughs> Sorry. Great. <laughs> 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 but these ones have less flour in them. Oh, okay. I made a little fuck up, but I knew these ones would taste better. The other ones are going to be more biscuity, but these were these it's ones were like really more good. Ben's cookie esque. I'm impressed. I'm very thanks, impressed. Thanks, hon. Thanks. <laughs>
this Saturday. It's hair day. I'm so excited to get this sorted. It's looking <laughs> very sad at the moment. The slick back hair is uh, very necessary. I actually meant to vlog way earlier this morning uh, than I <laughs> am currently doing. I'm literally getting ready to leave for the hairdressers, but I ended up being on FaceTime to Victoria for like an hour. So I don't have too much time to chat with you this morning, but it was worth it. I will choose a Saturday morning FaceTime call over li quite literally anything. But anyway, I wanted to show you my outfit before we leave for the hairdressers. I really wanted to feel nice today, especially because my hair is just an absolute mess so um yeah i've gone for my skims long sleeve dress it's finally the season when i can crack this out so it's like a nice long dress it's meant to be a midi but it's basically like a full length on me but because it's so tight it rides up a little bit which is great um i've got rager trainers on i rarely ever wear these anymore i feel like they're just so so popular and i got to a point where i was like sick of seeing them but they really are such a fab trainer for if you want uh, to pair them with a black outfit because of the black v they pair really nicely whereas my nike all white nikes they just look a bit too stark whereas these are like nice and simple and they just always always go so i will always have them in my wardrobe i'll never get rid of them i've got the gold droplet earrings in today which i'm just beyond obsessed with and i also put in the little gold um god they really catch the light that's so cute and um, the little gold studs that they also sent me which i don't know if everyone gets those I i'm gonna message them and try and find out because it was so nice of them but i don't there was no note so i don't really know why i have an extra pair of earrings but so cute i love them um i then got my zara um oversized leather jacket on which you will have seen in my recent spring uh zara haul and like my own lots of people thought i meant capsule wardrobe like this is a capsule basics wardrobe i meant like a spring capsule wardrobe that i personally work from for spring but anyway that video it was from that and i i just really like the fit of it it's really nice and oversized and it's got kind of like a roundness to it rather than being very straight and boxy and i just I think especially with like dresses it works very nicely and then i'm going for my big oversized ysl to hope because i'm going to take my laptop i have a lot of stuff to get done honestly if i listed <laughs> all of the things that we are secretly working on right now it's a lot so i have a long to-do list to get through whilst i am having my hair done also wearing ysl sunnies by the way before i forget to mention these are my prescription ones because we are going to be beep beep driving i'm in a weird mood this morning anyway so we are going to go i honestly at this point don't know what i'm ending up with at the hairdressers i could come out with a bob at this rate because i'm so <laughs> i do this every spring i do something dr drastic with my hair every spring if you go back apart from during lockdown because i was not able to see a hairdresser i do something drastic actually even during lockdown because that was when i was taking my hair extensions out with gin so really the tradition is true i do something insane every spring and have done for like f at least five years now i don't know i don't know why i do it but anyway so i hopefully will either come out with a bob or just a lot of layers and it will hopefully stop it just looking like it just looks quite limp at the moment and i just we just need some like lovely invisible layering that's going to give me like some volume some feathering or i'm going for a hayley bieber bob who knows I've realised I've forgotten my light, which I usually use when I'm in here to stop me looking like an egg. It's just remember me, cute and at home. Oh, it's all going on today. <laughs> here she is. Oh my god. <laughs> Carla hates it when I whip the camera. You love it, but you hate it. I definitely hate it. <laughs> so today, I'm thinking something a little bit different Okey i'm intrigued to get your thoughts because you might be like that's just not gonna work with like your hair type we're gonna end up with a bob again something like this yes we can cut it in the middle and then you can flip it, flip it yeah because the fringe is there anyway so yeah, our yeah, shortest definitely. point is yeah already if we cut thin. it in the middle then it, you, you'll have more i also may have tried to have done it myself oh my god <laughs> So I just did it really subtle because I was like, if I, I'm not going to do anything drastic. Although I did Google DIY butterfly cut. It's just a head, it's not 
I'm normally really good, I swear, but this one time I decided to take maths into my own hand. But you can't really see it basically because I did it so subtly that it's basically <laughs> invisible. And that's when I was like, I'm just going to leave it for you. But if you see any like rogue bits at the front, yeah. it's not breakage, it's just from my <laughs> <front>. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, I see that, I see. <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically just fix me. <laughs> so we're gonna cut it around the face a little bit more, but obviously where you've got the um the bangs, the old bangs, so it's better that it's a bit like fuller in the front because yeah. you can get it a bit more blunt. And then Choppy. what we'll do is once we've cut around the front, blow dried it round, we'll chop into the front to get, make it a little bit more bitty, which will give you a bit more height around yeah, the face. Yeah, perfect. Because that's kind of what I want, because I find at the moment, like, I do my hair and it looks nice, but because of the length and the weight of it now, it's just after, like, five minutes going, like... Yeah, it's yeah. flat. So, yeah, yeah, if we chop into a little bit, it will give it a little bit more texture, yeah. which will give it a little bit more height. Cute. And when that photo that I showed you, where it's kind of like... Do you know how I can do that at home? So what you do, what you method? need to do is just blow dry it round, blow dry it sort of okay. more under. So my Dyson with the bristle. Yeah, so blow dry brush. it more round, more under. Yeah. Okay. And then obviously with a little bit of texturizing, but hairspray yeah. just and like some dry shampoo. Yeah. And and yeah. Okay. Perfect. Just bring it all round, all round, all bouncy. I'm excited. Which we can do today. <laughs> My root colour and toner is on. I'm very much looking forward to feeling very fresh when this is all done. Oh, it's gonna feel so good. Also really happy because Carla was like, yes, so, so happy to do this haircut. I think it's gonna look really good, so yeah. There is nothing better than seeing having your hair done and knowing that a cup of tea is on the way. Like, oh, this, this is my happy place. This and going to get my nails done, my happy place. I'm double parked. That is a good cup of tea, honey. had a little bit of a disaster when we were in the hairdressers. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I hurt my back this morning. Guess It sounds so stupid getting into this dress. I was trying to, well, I was on FaceTime to Vic and I was also trying to get dressed at the same time, but I didn't just want to get dressed right in front of her and be like, hey, boobs. So I was like kind of leaning on camera, but off camera, kind of like how I do when I do like my TikToks and stuff. And this dress is very tight, like, but the material is very stretchy. I must have done something to my back when pulling it over me. And there is a weak point in my back, which this does happen to fairly often. Like some days I even just wake up with this bit in my back kind of like spasming. And um, yeah, I've managed to really, really mess it up. So when we went to wash my hair and wash the dye off my hair um, in the basin, I couldn't actually put my head back. I don't know if it's because I can't use the muscle that has, I, I don't know. And then it basically feels like my back is going to break and like I can't tip my head. Wow, my barbecue cover just scared the crap out of me. It just like, the wind is like blowing it up like crazy. <laughs> I thought there was someone at the window. Um, so yeah, I couldn't tip my head like the whole, like I can't get it any further than this and it needs to be like right the way back to be in the sink. So we were trying to just, kind of rinse my hair with me almost sat more upright like as far back as I could tip my head and every so often my back would just spasm so then we had to flip me forward and I had to just like hold a towel over my face because otherwise my face would just be drenched I did I honestly didn't know that it was that bad like I've never really had my back go that way and then tried to have my hair colored and cut and washed and everything i wouldn't have gotten if i had known it was a bit of a stress because i really didn't want to delay my hairdresser even though it was her last client i really don't want to eat into her evening her saturday evening so um yeah i just was very much like stressing because i wanted to still stick to timings bit of a stress but um yeah we do not have a bob carla really talked me down from the bob so we have got lots and lots of lovely 
light feathery layers around the front. I feel like you can't, the light's really weird so you can't see this side as much, but there we go. So yeah, lots of feathery layers. We've got some baby layers like on the ends that are just kind of giving it some fullness and a little bit more lift at the root because it was falling like I could not do that before and it <laughs> give me that kind of shape it was so heavy and so flat so this is really lovely to just be able to kind of even though it looks crazy zhuzh like this and have that kind of like volume and movement which this was a big change for me because I have been so scared obviously after having the bob I'm really just wanting my hair to grow the most after having so much uh breakage and I'm slightly traumatized to be really over dramatic about the whole thing about having like broken pieces so layering was really something that I was I had for the past like three years been avoiding at all costs because it just kind of gave me some weird throwbacks to when my hair was all like breaking and stuff but this is obviously very different because it's so long and healthy and it will just continue to grow like this and I think that's going to be great as well because as it gets longer um if it does get longer if I don't chop it into a bob anytime soon as it does get longer it will have shape and movement and I think that's really important that I don't end up with like super long hair that is just so weighty and so shapeless and just looks a little bit sad there's nothing that's more tempting to make me chop my hair into a really short bob than really really long unshaped hair so th it was really important to me that we kind of did this at some point and i think it was just right in spopic right time basically and uh sophie milner has a lot to do with this because she has just had um kind of face framing layers as well and her hair looked fab so she very much inspired me as well so yeah that is the hair i also think it's going to be quite nice like when it's flipped as well because there's just a lot more layering and movement to it so it should be quite nice over the summer it is looking very dark right now because um we've just touched up the roots and added a toner but this color will lift whoa <sighs> But, um, this colour will lift over the next few days. It's a big change without making like a drastic change, if that makes sense. I feel like you can see even better here, like how much layering there is and how nice and full it is on the ends. It's just lovely, like it really, <laughs> it has not looked like this for a very, very long time. <laughs> Good morning. I feel like I have been vlogging this vlog for about 60 years at this point. I have no idea what footage I've got. I honestly, is it a bit of a mess? Potentially. Screw it. It is the most lovely spring day today. Am I shouting? I actually can't tell. Um, I just think I look so much cuter with the headphones on. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I just love having them on. I think it's because I have a small head. Who knows? Um, it is the most lovely spring day today. Like the sun was just beaming down on my skin. It doesn't look like it right now, but there is some blue sky and oh, it's just so nice. Like I came out of the shop and I was like, mm, yes. And I've just done a workout. So the endorphins are endorphining. Yeah, so we love that. Worked out, got food for the day. Went and got Nala's food. So everyone is fed. I have exercised. My sanity will hopefully remain intact today which is lovely uh today or tonight i am starting the podcast again which i'm really excited about i am feeling really good at the moment and this it's so funny that i'm feeling really good because my feeling really good comes off the back of like a complete breakdown that i had during lockdown like a real we weren't sure that i was okay kind of meltdown um but we kind of game planned from that meltdown and this spring a lot of that is kind of starting to come to fruition so i feel this 
complete and utter sense of like relief like mul multiple things are going on so it's not even like one thing but I just really feel like I am in a new season of my life we've got past season five where the writers are just doing weird shit uh, to keep you all entertained and things are flopping a little bit like you know season five of The Walking Dead and you're like what is happening what's going on we've got past season five and we're back into a rhythm season six it's gonna be an interesting season like love that and there's still so much more good stuff to come and that's kind of where I feel like I am at mentally the writers have returned from the 2006 writers strike and <laughs> everything is good again was it 2006 when all of the writers went on strike and the tv shows were like the storylines just lost the plot if anyone remembers that that was why Gilmore Girls like maybe it was before 2006 but that's why the last season of Gilmore Girls is so bad because all the writers went on strike if you're younger than me you might not even know that and you might not know that that's why there's so many tv shows that had like a couple of really bad seasons um it's why gossip girl like came out came out when i was like 14 or 15 and then it didn't release like it did the pilot episodes and then nothing for about two years it was crazy anyway tangent this is one thing i find when i am genuinely like feeling good in life is I tend to chat more which is wonderful because I love that more than I love when I am struggling to vlog but I tend to just waffle and uh yeah I don't know if that makes for good uh vibes in the vlog at risk of that happening today and me hating myself when I come to edit that is kind of where I am at mentally at the moment like I just feel so much relief this is like proof that sometimes you have to have a real like complete and utter like met like crisis and then proactively like take those bad times and be like but how can i make this better and i just feel like it's it's still not going to be easy going forward like personally me and ryan are trying to do a lot to really get ourselves like set up in life and like you know i've talked about this a bit before but we really want to like get ourselves like in a good position to like have a family and stuff like that and we're just kind of trying to balance that with like being self-employed and future game planning in like other areas of like our jobs and stuff and like yeah we're kind of starting to like make a little bit of progress and like things are starting to happen and I just feel so much relief and yeah I feel like I've got myself out of that limbo that I have been in for such a long time where I just felt like nothing was happening and I just felt so scared and so anxious all the time. It feels like I've just come out of a really good massage, you know that kind of lightness? That's how I feel. And it's colliding with like a real coming into spring, new physical season of the year, new season of my life. Feels good. So um, yeah, I don't know how much more I have to give in this vlog. I think I'm going to end it here i honestly don't know what i'm going to talk you through today i'm starting the new season of the podcast see new season in all areas of life i am going to drive home and this is where i am going to leave you in a parking lot i hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog even though i don't know what it was um and just a heads up because of the podcast recording and just for my mental sanity um i'm really proud that i've done two videos a week for like the whole of march now i've smashed it I don't need anyone else's opinion on it. I personally am PSA, I have smashed it. Um, I'm going to have a week off now so that I can smash the podcast and then I will hopefully come back. I'm going to try and do two a week again. However, I have so much going on um, and a lot of it going on like over upload days, unfortunately. So I'm gonna do my best to do two videos a week, but if I can't, there will definitely be one video a week um but keep an eye on my stories and obviously check back on i'm gonna say sundays and wednesdays from now on sundays and wednesdays i'm gonna try gonna try something new check back um and obviously i will always uh pop the video alerts up on my stories but yeah i'll do my best to carry on doing two videos a week because i actually personally enjoy youtube more when i do more is that mad like just making more work for myself but um yeah i love youtube so um as we've established this month this is my happy space so i will um do my best to do two videos a week going on from now um but yes yeah, it's, it, april is a busy busy month i'm going back to school 
we've got so many like social things going on it is crazy just so i honestly can't tell you how much we've got i can't even tell you half of what we got going on in april because some of it i have to keep private because it's like ryan's stuff or whatever it's gonna be wild i'm so excited um so that's my 10 minute outro <laughs> thank you so much for all of your lovely comments this month and for your support um i love you all so so much and i will see you guys again very very soon bye <laughs> What even is that? Is that like, is that Star Trek? I don't know. Love you, bye.